Hello. I don't really have anything to say this time. I just kind of wanted to spin around in a chair. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are finally watching Coraline. This video is brought to you by my friend LJ. No, it's not actually sponsored by anyone, but my friend LJ has just released another issue of his comic series, We Wicked Ones. Issue number four has just released on September 13th. You can go and buy all of the issues that are currently available over at Scout Comics. I will leave that in the description box below. It tells the story of a woman named Celia Jordan, who's an orphaned witch turned contract killer. It's a really unique story. I've never heard of anything like it, and the artwork is stunning. So if you yourself like graphic novels or comic books or you're looking for something unique to check out, maybe consider clicking that link in my description. I know my friend LJ would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it as well. I'm super proud of him. He's been working on this series for a really long time now, and I just want him to have all the success in the world. And I do feel like there are a lot of people in my community who definitely appreciate comic books, so I felt like this was the perfect place to share it. So thanks for hearing my pitch. Now with all that being said, let's get back into the video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here especially you. Yes, you, you, you. I know how crazy I'm talking to you, just you. Thank you so much to all of my crispy golden nuggets who stick around, who subscribe, and who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. I really do appreciate having y'all here, and I love reading your comments and your fun facts about these movies and shows that we watch down below. And also a special shout out to all of my extra extra crispy golden nuggets who are also supporting my Patreon that's linked down below. Thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are ya? If you like my videos and you keep watching them over and over again, you're binging them for a day or two or three or four, I don't know, maybe just a little bit, so maybe you wanna subscribe. There's a little red button down below that you can click to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. You don't have to do that though. If you don't want to, <laughs> I ran out of breath halfway through that. I think I had a little bit too much caffeine today. Today, we are diving into Coraline. This movie has been on my list for a long time. A long, 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 long time. I'm excited to watch this one with y'all here today because it's been so heavily requested. I feel like I've heard good things about this movie, but for some reason have just never watched it. A lot of people were surprised when I did A Nightmare Before Christmas as a first time reaction here on my channel because people were shocked and were like, how could you have never seen this movie? But that one, I at least had an excuse. I'm Jewish, that's my excuse. <laughs> this one, I don't really have much of an excuse. I just think I haven't watched a lot of Henry Selick's movies. I just think they just didn't really interest me as a kid, or maybe I just d didn't uh, th have the chance to see them. I will say before I looked up anything about this movie and who made it or anything, the minute I saw the imagery for Coraline, like the still and the cover, I thought to myself, man, that kind of looks a little bit like James and the Giant Peach, which isn't something I've seen, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen James and the Giant Peach, but I think I've seen clips from it or stills as a child. There's a slim chance that maybe I watched it as a really, really young kid, but I, I don't think so. I think I've just seen imagery from it. And it makes sense because uh, Henry Selick had a hand in that as well. And Coraline definitely has a lot of good reviews. A lot of people are really passionate about it and have definitely wanted me to watch this one for a while. I've heard it's good. I've also heard it's dark. I don't know anything about this movie. So this is really all I have to say. I'm just kind of excited to watch it and immerse myself in something different with you guys. Also, let me know if you want me to watch James and the Giant Peach. Like, there, there's, a, there's a slim chance, I will say, that I've seen it as a kid, but I mean, it came out in the 90s and I was so young. So if I did, I don't really remember. <laughs> um, but I would guess that I haven't. So if that's something that people love, maybe let me know. But honestly, this intro is feeling pretty rambly. I feel like I'm having a hard time focusing today. I'm not gonna lie, I've just kind of been a little a little bit of a space cadet today. <laughs> so without any further ado, I think we should just hop on into this movie and enjoy it together. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh, okay, fun. Oh, this is gonna be weird and dark, huh? Oh, we're cutting a doll. Ew, the button eyes, wow. What are we doing to this doll? Turning it inside out, filling it with sand. What are these hands made of? The music is very peaceful. 
The imagery is a little- Oh! Is Coraline a doll? That looked like her. Where'd she go? We just send her out into the ether? Like a kid died and now he made a new kid and sent them out. Is that what's happening? Is he doing exercises on the house? Whoa. Look at this estate. Hello? Who's there? She even had good aim. Oh, it's just a cat. What, is a cat actually stalking her? Oh my God, it's a nightmare. What happened? The landscape isn't pretty anymore. Oh, girl, don't stand in the circle. That looks like something you shouldn't stand in. Show me the well. <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? Oh my God. Get away from me! Ah! Probably a kid. Let me guess, you're from Texas or Utah. Someplace dried out and barren, right? New neighbor. Surprised she let you move in. My grandma, she owns the pink palace. Where are we? We're into people with kids. Where, where, where is this set? I'm YB. Hi, YB. I'd wear gloves next time. Why? Cause that dowsing rod of yours, um, uh, it's poison oak. Oh, you know what? He's a good friend to have around. Why is she looking for this well? It's gonna be like Alice falling into the well. Oh, she got poison oak. I would have died. That's nice. That's nice. She doesn't even listen. No, Coraline, rain makes mud. Mud makes a mess. Mom's working from home. She writes a garden blog? Hey, Jonesy, look what I found in Grandma's trunk. You look familiar? Huh. A little me? Oh, that's spooky. In Grandma's trunk? Dad, dad has that, he is that tech neck. Look at that tech neck. Oh God, the way they designed his neck is freaking me out. And his eyes. One boring blue boy in a painfully boring painting. There's something up with the grandma, with Wyborn's grandma. And why she says like, no, she doesn't typically allow kids there, but then she has this doll. All right, little me, where are you hiding? Oh God, the doll moved? That's terrifying. <gasps> I love mulch, <laughs> the muck. And her parents are just, do they even want kids? Bricks, oh. I don't get it. They must have closed this off when they divided up the house. No, I bet it opens when there isn't an adult around. We made a deal, zip it. Oh, don't worry, she about to zip it cause she about to go through the hole in the wall. It looks more like slime to me. Well, it's slime or bedtime, fuss pot. Fuss pot. Think they're trying to poison me? <sighs> ah, the transition there was really cute. Her dad's not so bad. He just needs to work on his tech neck. Oh, look, she got little dragonflies all over the canopy bed too. There's something going on with the dragonfly theme here. The doll watching her. Ugh. It's watching her. I don't like it. <laughs> A mouse. The, mi the mouse is literally trying to lead her back to the door, presumably. Yeah. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like Alice about to go down the, the hole. Huh? I hope you can re-enter that later. What? It's the same room. But the, the boy has ice cream in this room. It's an alternate reality. <gasps> the food's good here. Is she gonna like it better here than in her reality? <gasps> the house looks nicer. Are her parents attentive and nice? What are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for supper, dear. Buttons for eyes? <laughs> Do you like them? I'm your other mother, silly. Your other mother. Go tell your other father that supper's ready. Does her other father not have tech neck? <laughs> No, he still does. <laughs> he plays the piano though now. My father can't play piano. No need to. This piano plays me. Uh. Oh, okay. Making up a song about Coraline. I feel like this is gonna turn into a nightmare real soon. Like it's all happy and nice right now, but I don't trust it. Mmm, this chicken is good. Hungry, aren't you? Is it good to eat the food? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't eat the food. 
Every little nightmare with a child and witches usually ends with like, or starts with feeding the children and then ends with them becoming the food. I don't trust this. Another roll? Another roll? No. Oh my God. Stop eating, Coraline. And soon as you're through eating, I thought we'd play a game. You mean like hide and seek? Perfect. <gasps> hide and seek in the rain. Uh, -huh, that sounds lovely. Oh my God. What did she, this mother, was she's impatient about tapping her fingers on the table. I better get home to my other mother. But I'm your other mother. I mean my other, 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 <laughs> other mother. Mom number one. Uh-oh, they're not gonna let you go, girl. I don't think so. That mouse in that other house is evil. Dragging her into this. Real dragonflies. <sighs> she's falling asleep here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I feel like this is a bad decision. You probably don't want to sleep here. See you soon. What if you get trapped here? Is she back in the, oh, she's back in her real bed. Oh, okay. See you soon, why'd they say that? <gasps> Should I leave it outside or? <gasps> Good catch, girl. Oh my God, they have a chicken up here. Oh, she's a witch, huh? There's a witch living up here. Secret. <gasps> oh my God. Very clever, using this mix up to sneak my home and pick at mushkas. Mushkas? The mice. Oh, the mice are his. And I am the amazing Bobinski. Uh-huh. Have beat. Oh. Too strong. Ah, he's a beat fanatic. Das Vidanya. Das Vidanya. Caroline. Bye-bye. He's nice. Um, I uh, like the choice to have him be super, super skinny, like skinny limbs, but have like this round abdomen. I knew a guy who was a professional clown. He was a teacher of mine who looked kind of like this. <laughs> Cause they have really strong ab, like transverse abdominals that make their abs protrude. Do not go through little door. Well, why'd they lead us to a little door then? Oh, the actors live down here, I see. No whistling in the house? Why? No! Ah! Jesus Christ! Oh, 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 Scottish Terrier fans, all right. Miriam, put the kettle on! Oh, she's the short wink. Ah, it's funny. She always has to wink. She'll be having the oolong tea. No, I don't know. King Lear, were they burlesque performers? Come on, boys. The dog's playing poker. <laughs> oh, no. Are those dogs real? Ah, oh, sweet departed angels. Oh, they put... Couldn't bear to part with them. Yeah, I see that. Did you put buttons on the eyes? Lovely. I'll read them if you like. Read what? Oh, your tea leaves, dear. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, Caroline, Caroline, Caroline. Her name's Coraline! I see a very- Oh, the hand. I see a giraffe. Giraffes don't just fall from the sky, Miriam. <laughs> oh, no. That's hilarious. Great timing. You know, I've never been inside the Pink Palace. Grandma kill me. Thinks it's dangerous or something. And yet she rents it out to people. Well, she had a twin sister. So? When they were kids. Oh, the cat doesn't, the cat's the guardian too. Cat probably doesn't want. She says she was stolen. Stolen? Stolen. Well, the cat knows something. Look, I, I gotta go. Wait a minute. The grandma's always calling Wyborn whenever he's talking to Coraline. It's interesting. She doesn't want them to get close. And the cat knows something. Is the cat like the twin reincarnated? The mice are back. Wait, no, don't go. Oh no, girl. Think about what the Russian guy said to you. You mean my other father. Your better father, dear. Better. Oh, interesting. Now, now, oh, she, she's slowly planting the seeds of, you want to stay here, right? You want to stay here forever. You don't want to go back home. He's writing a praying mantis like the one in her room. Oh my God, we can fly. Wow, they're really doing a great job selling this place to her. I'd want to stay here too. While you and your friend head upstairs. My friend? Wybie. Great, another Wybie. He's probably a better Wybie that you like more. Hello? He doesn't speak in this role? I thought you'd like him more if he spoke a little less. So I fixed him. He can't talk at all. 
She fixed him. Whoa! <gasps> Oh, the, ch the chicken's still real, but it poops popcorn. <laughs> I actually want this as a popcorn machine. That's amazing. An amazing jumping mouse Oh! My name! They spelled her name right! Wow. I feel like... So I feel like she's going to spend this other night here, and then I feel like if she spends three nights here, she gets stuck. I just feel like rule of threes makes sense to me. That would be what I guess. Does Vadania call a lie? He got her name right. Oh, she in bed now. Oh, YB's watching her fall asleep too. Okay. Yeah, I feel like three sleeps here, she'd get stuck. <gasps> the cat's here too. Hmm. YB's got a cat like you at home. Is it the same cat or is it a different one? You must be the other cat. No, I bet it's the same. No. I'm not the other anything. I'm me. Yeah, it doesn't have button eyes. If you're the same cat, how can you talk? I just can. I knew this cat was wise. Well, you're clearly the expert on these things. <laughs> He's a sassy cat. You should go follow the cat. Oh no, we're gonna go to the show instead. Oh, the dog searching her. That's so cute. Oh, the, the theater is filled with dogs with button eyes. That's really cute. It's just a chorus of. <laughs> oh. I'm known as the siren of all seven seas. I love that they're still, they still look pretty much the same. Oh my God. Oh my God. God. There is no way this is a kid's movie, man. This is crazy like i knew they did shows like this i could tell from the posters but i'm shocked that we're actually doing this oh no what are you all about to do what are you oh my god with a walker our lives for the theater april our lives for the theater oh no at the same time oh my god oh they're actually young they're wearing fat suits oh my god wow what a piece of work is man. How noble. Now infinite. they're doing Shakespeare. How oh, infinite in faculty. I think it's from As You Like It. Wow. Oh my goodness. I was going to say this show is not as good as the circus show, but no, they really turned it around. Oh, there the parents are. Ready to make sure you fall asleep again in this world. YB looks sad. There's a reason why we can't talk, huh? YB looks sad. You could stay here forever, if you want to. Uh-huh. There's one tiny little thing we need to do. Replace your eyes, huh? I bet it's the eyes. <gasps> no way! You're not sewing buttons in my eyes! Oh, but we need a yes, if you want to stay here. So sharp, you won't feel a thing. Ow! I love how still, even in this world, the mother has to be like, shut up, husband. I'll be happy to tuck you in. Oh, no thanks. It's not, a, it's not a nice place to be anymore, huh? It's a horror now, huh, babe? Soon you'll see things our way. So you can stay here. You just need to replace your eyes. That is spooky, man. No, now it's not fun anymore. Face. Get a grip, soldier. The giraffe! I don't know. I don't know if sleeping this time is going to do it. Go to sleep. 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 She can't sleep now. She's too stressed. She's wake. Oh no, she woke up in the world. Mom, Dad! <gasps> oh god. Oh no, I knew it was gonna be three nights, was the magic. Magic charm. I knew it. It's always rule of threes with everything. I wanna go home. Oh, be swell. Soon as mother's refreshed, her strength is our strength. Uh oh. He's not allowed to say. If you won't even talk to me, I'm gonna find the other wife. He'll help me. No point. He pulled a long <laughs> face and mother didn't like him. Uh. Oh my God, the piano hands aren't letting him speak either. It's all mom's world, huh? Oh God. We gotta find the cat. You gotta find the cat, babe. Yes. And what do you think you're doing? I'm getting out of here. That's what I'm doing. Huh? Something's wrong. 
Whoa. Why does she want me? She wants something to love, I think. Or maybe she just loves something to eat. Oh, God. Yeah, like a witch children's nightmare. Hang on. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. To show her. I don't like rats at the best of times, but this one was sounding an alarm. Ooh. Wow, it's good to have this cat on your side. Oh, babe. I don't think it's gonna be so simple. Oh my God, it's a giant cockroach, no! Oh, they light up really pretty. Even the proudest spirit can be broken <gasps> with love. Oh, she was waiting here, huh? Oh, lovely. I'll give you to the count of three. Oh my God, we're really just villainizing mothers in this movie, huh? Uh-oh. Two. Three! Ow! What are you doing? Well, oh, she looks scary now. You may come out. When you've learned to be a loving daughter. Oh my god, oh no. This is really just like everybody's worst nightmare like with an abusive mother. This is actually awful. Who is, what's? <gasps> oh no. Who are you? Are they the other children? The bell down. She spied on our lives. Oh my god. The little doll's eyes. Oh my god. She said that she loved us. But she locked us here oh. and ate up our lives. Wow. The final step is the buttons. She was almost at that final step. She can't keep me in the dark forever. Not if she wants to win my life. Beating her is my only chance. I love the resiliency, Coraline. Find her eyes, mistress, and our souls will be freed. Oh, poor babies. Yeah. I'll try. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Is it YB? YB? Shh, 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 don't scream his name. <gasps> oh, she stitched a smile on him. Poor baby. I hope that feels better. <gasps> he can speak now. Coraline? Is that you? Uh-oh. Oh, are we bringing... Oh. Come on. He hurt you again. We're bringing... I don't think he can go, babe. <laughs> Oh, he sh oh, YB, you're so nice. Go, girl, go. Oh, I love that YB. He's looking out for her. I guess she's never had to go back through the tunnel. Is that what it's like going back to, oh, wow. So the tunnel's all magical when she's going into the ideal version. Whoa. Anybody here? Uh-oh, where are her parents? Maybe they're still at the grocery store. Oh, no. <laughs> Why aren't they put away? That's disgusting. Where are her parents? Mom! Dad! Where are they? Oh no, where are her parents? Something is so wrong. They're missing. Oh, she's missing her real parents now. Oh no, she's missing her parents! Is that the cat? That's the cat. Do you know where mom and dad are? I bet it does. It's a smart cat. Yeah, he's a smart kitty, really. Despite popular stereotypes, I actually quite like cats and fully respect the impressive intelligence of this one in particular. <gasps> Mom? Dad? They're freezing. Oh no, the bell dam trapped them. It's not just the children that get affected, it's also the parents. Only one thing to do. Yep. She's a brave little girl. So many kids in this situation would like be too scared to do anything. I'd have Ridley hair all over my shirt now. Oh well. Coraline? Mom? It's the fake mom. No, it's fake mom, babe. <gasps> oh, she had real eyes for a second. That's crazy. Gosh, I have no idea where your old parents are. She looks worse and worse. They weren't bored of me, you stole them. Oh, the dad looks gross now, too. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, my God. He can't speak now. His mouth's all messed up. What's going on? Oh, no. She's eating the key! Why don't you have your own key? Only one key. 
The garden squash. She's like, stop telling her things. He's turning into a squash. Oh my God, when she said that, I was like, whoa, his hair and like his body is starting to look like a squash. Why don't we play a game? I know you like them. I love how her, her button eyes glistened. What kind of game would it be? An exploring game, a finding things game. Uh huh. And what is it you'd be finding, Coraline? Tapping her fingers again. My real parents and the eyes of the ghost children. And if she loses, she has to give her eyes up, huh? What if you don't find them? I'll stay here with you forever and let you love me. And I'll let you sew buttons into my eyes. Damn. She really made the challenge intense by not only needing to find her parents, but also the dead children, <laughs> their eyes. She hardcore, she a baddie. <laughs> oh no, they're taking her thing. No. Nice, good aim. Why steal this? Because it probably actually works. Wow. Yeah. Nice. The thing is going to light up in color, huh? Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's dad. He's a pumpkin now. Mom's making him do this. It's awful. Oh, the gloves. It's the gloves. Nice. Thanks, dad. Thanks, other dad. Oh, he's nice. <gasps> the world's starting to... Oh! Oh! It's desaturating! Oh. Uh-oh. Is that the progress of how much time we have left? Shadow covering the moon? The dogs are bats now? Are you kidding me? Lappy Taffy. Oh. What's inside? In her hands. Ew. Oh, they're in there together. Oh, they're oh, it, they look like taffy versions of themselves now. Oh, we're pissing the bats off in hopes that they attack all them too. That's funny. Duck, yeah, great job, girl. Oh, wow. Her web is unwinding. You're doing great. You're doing great. Wow. Oh, gotta move quicker. Oh, it's a button! It's a button that's gonna cover the moon! That's so creepy! Oh, what was that? Hello, Galobushka. Oh, oh, he's a mess. Just go home and be bored and enjoy the same as always. Stay. No, I don't wanna stay with you. You're pretty awful. Oh my God, this is what nightmares are made of. It's under the hat, of course it is. It's all rats, it's all rats. Oh my God, they're, it's just awful. Oh my God, they're shooting her with cotton candy. No, you needed that. Babe, why would you throw the most important thing you have? What is wrong with you? She's a child, I need to relax. Girl, girl, you don't even have that much time. No. Oh, what? The cat helped her? Oh, the cat helped her. You still gotta find your parents though and you don't have much time. I still have to find my parents. But the, but that's, oh, but, uh-oh. Maybe that only applied to the time she had left for the eyes. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my God, this is terrifying. The world is falling apart. I'm glad that we saved the kitty. Oh, the house is unraveling. Oh no, literally. You know I love you. Oh, they're the hands, the real hands. They're behind that door. Oh, they are, are they? Is she gonna push her through the door? That wouldn't make any sense because that'd be like pushing her into that world. Oh, they're in the snow. That's why they're cold. You're going to stay here forever. No, I'm not. We're really throwing the cat at her. That's so fucked up. No, we did that to the cat. Oh! You horrible cheating girl. 
kind of don't blame her. She really did have to do something. Oh no, she's in a web now. Oh my God. Poor cat though. Go kitty. It's okay, go. Oh my God. She's like a spider now, feeling for movement on the web. Ah! But she's fast though, she's fast. Climb faster, oh God! You dare disobey your mother! Ah! <laughs> no, I hate this! Please shut it! Oh, they're helping her. They're helping the children. Ah! Oh, we broke her hand off. Great. Oh, run, just run, just run, Coraline, just run. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's the cat? Where are your parents? Caroline, we're home. Oh yeah, for them it's like nothing happened. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, they are covered in snow. Well, get yourself cleaned up. We're going out Ooh. tonight. We got a lot to celebrate. Yay! Yeah, the kitty's got some words. Yeah, you threw him at the witch. He's probably like, F you. You still mad? Yeah. Oh, yay! Wow, very forgiving cat. Oh my god. The hand. The hand's gonna follow her. God, I thought the movie was over. This nightmare never ends. Is the cat gonna get it? Nope, the cat didn't help her. Oh no. <gasps> Why me? Just throw a rock on it. Who was that? Oh, Wybie, he climbed himself out of the well. Oh my goodness. Maybe you should destroy the, the, you can really, guys, we could like melt the key. That would be better. <clears throat> Although throwing it down there is, is a good option. I'm really sorry I didn't believe you about all this evil stuff, Coraline. Well, I'm glad the well came back around. Oh, he got her name right. That made her happy. You know, I'm glad you decided to stalk me. Aww. I'm glad the well thing came back around and they got to connect and become friends. It was a great resolution. Cold drinks? Oh yeah, great. They're gardening, finally. Um, I really hate dirt. Oh my God. But the tulips look nice. <laughs> she hates dirt, but she has a gardening vlog. I can't. <clears throat> he's planting, he's tearing the tulips out and planting beets. That's awful and the kitty and it's gonna disappear again <laughs> that was so cute and it was like disturbing at the same time like cute and disturbing <laughs> i love this whole like idea that it's like such a common thing for children to like wish they were in another life like wish their life was better wish maybe they had different parents or different friends or imagine like running away to a better life to have like the witches version of that which is so common like with hansel and gretel and stories like that where witches like tempt children away from the safety of their homes like to put that spin on it is genius and and perfect and it has such like a perfect resolution too like not only does she have to help rescue the souls of the other lost children? And like that raises the stakes and gives her like an objective and makes her a really active protagonist in the second half of the movie. But also she has to rescue her parents. And then there's even that last little moment at the end of destroying the key that gets to bring her and Wybie closer together and really bring the well bit back around. Because I will admit like in the beginning, I was like, what's the point of showing us this well? Like I thought, when we were discovering the well, that that well was gonna mean something very soon in the movie and then it didn't. So I'm happy we got to wrap that up and let the well have a purpose because the witch didn't even know it existed. She only created the world that she, you know, as far as Coraline lived in and not the world beyond it. So I think I, this movie was really well done. There were so many like little touches that were like, <laughs> So disturbing, but like stuff you really do see. Like disturbing for me, but not, you know, totally realistic. Like those kinds of people who stuff all of their dead animals. 
<laughs> like that's disturbing, but it's that's really realistic. And to use all of those dead dogs then in the alternate reality as like audience members or bats or just all these different creatures. Same thing with like the mice, all of these alternate versions that are so much creepier than what they are in reality. I really liked that. I really enjoyed the protagonist's journey for this. I like that she, you know, had this whole first half of the movie where she really does want to escape to this world. And then when she realizes what she has to give up, I think she's a really fun character. She's very spunky, very brave, and like very determined and not afraid to go after what she wants and, and not just willing to give everything up to live in this world that supposedly could be better. Instead, you know, she's not willing to give up her eyes. She also did have help from the cat though that kind of helped her see reason before it got to that point. But she was a very active character and I really liked that. She, she didn't let things happen to her. A lot of times she was going after stuff which makes movies a lot more compelling. So I really did enjoy that. And yeah, it just kind of felt like I was watching a creepy old school Brothers Grimm fairy tale come to like, life come to a modern version and I really liked that. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all, maybe James and the Giant Peach or just other animated movies that maybe have darker tones to them. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.